Good day and welcome to another game development tutorial. Today we'll create a nice gradient effect to be applied on any Blender model. So let me just start this off and just open a Blender. Uh, when you'll open a Blender you'll probably get something like this. This is a default scene in Blender and I'm just gonna press N to enable my to enable uh, to enable screencast keys so you'll see what keys I'm pressing and I'm just starting to display here now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete everything so B to select multiple objects and then just X to delete to see keys you can take a look in my left bottom corner uh, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a plane uh, make make it in the middle so it's easier to work with and then we're gonna scale it up just drag it along drag your mouse over the screen so it completely covers the grid now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to edit mode and we're gonna subdivide it a few times so make sure your plane is selected and then subdivide once twice three times uh, or four times you know that's probably enough the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to object mode and we're gonna get, go to modifiers this little wrench icon over here uh, on your right and add modifier we're gonna add triangulate and then we're gonna add another we're gonna we're gonna we're actually gonna do this later. The next thing we're gonna do is go to edit mode, back to edit mode, and we're gonna go to the bottom of your screen and press this little icon over here that says proportional editing, and we're gonna enable it. Now, next to this icon, there's a little curve, and we're gonna click that and we're gonna select random. So, the next thing we're gonna do is gonna select this tool for moving things. I don't know how to how to call it transformation translate translate tool and we're gonna we're gonna uh, left mouse uh, press left mouse button and as you can see a little circle appears you want it to be bigger so scroll your mouse until it almost covers the entire plane and then just drag it up actually we're gonna until you get the effect that you like just drag it up until you like it so let me see this okay that that's good enough for me actually okay okay now it's good okay the next thing we're gonna, we're gonna do is we're gonna add another modifier this is optional only if you wanna do it I'm gonna add a displace modifier and then we're gonna go to this displace modifier and select new texture go to this little texture tab at the top and from type image or movie we're gonna go to noise now go back to the modifier and just lower the strength to the lowest possible number I'm gonna go with 0 0.1 and that is something I want this is uh, this is gonna represent the ground and this is uh, where we're gonna apply our gradient now apply both modifiers and uh, this is done on the only thing you have to do is go to file and export it as FBX to wherever a unity project you want to export it to assets of course and then export the file I'm not going to do this because I already have a file that I'll be using uh, in uh, further in the tutorial uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up GIMP here we are in GIMP and the first thing we're gonna do is gonna go to file and press new and create a file that's gonna be 180 times 180 so 
180, 180 pixels in width and 180 in height and press OK. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this toolbox over here. If you don't have toolbox, just tools, toolbox. Uh, and we're going to go to this gradient tool over here. And the gradient, uh, you're going to get this tool options if you double click it. And uh, we're going to click on the gradient and we're going to go to from FG to transparent. The next thing we're going to do is going to go to to shape and select linear to bilinear. And that's all we're going to do on the tool options. Only thing we're going to change is we're going to press on the white color over here to the second color and change it to red uh, or any color you want uh, for your gradient to be. You're going to see. Uh, now hit OK and swap the colors with this or arrow over here. Uh, then select the paint bucket tool over here and just paint the entire thing red. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to swap the colors again and we're going to choose the, this gradient tool and we're going to uh, select someone, uh, spot somewhere in the middle, press left mouse button and drag it all the way to the right and then release it somewhere around here and this is our gradient this is how our gradient will be we'll, the I want my gradient to go from one color to another and then to the previous color again and this is what we need if you want to make uh, it like blue to go to red and then to blue just paint the entire thing blue and uh, select a red color uh, as a main color and then just make a gradient again I want my gradient to go from red to black and then to red again and now we're gonna just go to file and export as and I'm gonna export this to my unity project which I already did so I don't have to the only thing you have to keep in mind is that you must export your things to assets not to the uh, Unity project itself. So export and that's it. Export as JPHG, not PNG. Okay. Now let's move on to Unity. Here we are in Unity and these are both of my exported assets. Uh, here is gradient that we are we're going to be using and uh, of course the ground model. First thing we're gonna do is just drag this ground model into the scene. Now we're just going to reset the position so it's aligned with the camera and uh, the directional light which actually doesn't matter but still X0, Y0 and Z0 okay Z actually sorry sorry. Uh, now the next thing we're going to do is create a material so create material okay now the material we're going to name something like uh, ground and uh, <laughs> nice right <laughs> the, okay now uh, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to drag the gradient to the albe albedo and we have our material and we're just going to drop the sm smoothness down and drag this material to our ground and it looks quite neat right yeah I know uh, so this is how to make a gradient effect in unity hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you want to you can uh, I don't know uh, play a bit with the camera so you get the best possible view I don't know something like that but uh, I think it this is pretty useful for any game that you want to make uh, if you make, want to make a lava effect or anything I just think it looks cool so I hope you enjoyed watching leave a like, comment, subscribe and share